you're not Salvadorian till you come to a Holy Friday in San Salvador Centro. Let's go! Welcome to Central San Salvador. We're in the Plaza Libertad in the center of San Salvador. Yeah, with the Iglesia El Rosario behind me, or the Rainbow Church, as I like to call it. And it's called Libertad Plaza. And the main thing that you will always find here on the internet is they have groups of bands that are playing and people dance in the plaza. And that group is bigger than ever I've ever seen it. So let's go dance. The next time you come to El Salvador, make sure you stop in the Plaza Libertad and have a quick dance with the other locals and foreigners that come here to jam. This weekend, like no other weekend in El Salvador, all of downtown is packed with thousands and thousands of people. So thousands of Salvadorans, thousands of diaspora, thousands of um, extranjeros. And right here behind me, we have the Cha Cha Cha, which is one of the big nightclubs here in San Salvador, and that will definitely be booming. They prefer kind of Cuban music up there, so it's great to get your salsa on. But we're going to come show you because now they're going to start the procession, and we're going to show you some of the beautiful salt art that they do down the calle. Let's go see it. <laughs> in between the two main plazas here in Central San Salvador, we have the old Banco Central de Reserva del Salvador, or it used to be El Salvador's Fed. Uh, their Fed is another place now, but now it serves as a museum, so you can see all the different currencies that El Salvador has had in its past. And here's some trivia. What was the name of El Salvador's currency before they adopted the dollar in 1992? Put it in the comments if you know. And of course, two years ago, they adopted Bitcoin. Always evolving. Up in the States and in Europe, you'll have an, an occasional holiday here, holiday there, maybe one day off a month. But here in Latino America, all of Santa Semana or Holy Week is off. The best part of what's been happening down here is the whole of downtown is kind of getting a great facelift and a cleanup and all the calles are getting all taken care of, including this beautiful building right behind us. That's right on the main central plaza of San Salvador. Whenever there's a celebration, all the artists come out in order to share their gift, their love, and their talent with their community and with their country. Among the street artists, you will find artists doing caricatures, face painting, henna tattoos, mimes, puppets, because most Latin American countries are Catholic based, everything actually begins at the end of February when Lent starts, which is a 40 day countdown to Easter. Usually during this time, Catholics will give up something that may be kind of a carnal desire or a bad habit that they know is not good for them. And they give it up in order to be closer to God and closer to spirit. Festivities start on Palm Sunday or the Sunday before Easter, which commemorates the Sunday that Christ came into Jerusalem for the last time riding on a donkey and all the people on the sides of the streets were waving palms in order to celebrate him and his achievements at that time. It follows on until Good Thursday when he had the Last Supper with his apostles and then Good Friday. Holy Friday or Good Friday is a day when not just Catholics, but almost all Christians use it as a day to reflect and think about the passion of Christ and all that he gave and all that he went through in four hours of life on the earth. One of the many ways that they choose to worship is to create these big, beautiful, called street carpets or street rugs, alfombras, that cover the street um, 
And it was interesting because I thought it was only around churches, but as we drove through San Salvador, many people were doing their own out in front of their houses, just in random streets in San Salvador. And it's just their way to worship and to create and show their appreciation and their art for um, Christ's suffering. It's really cool. So what they do is they take colored salt and sawdust and they lay out and then fill up these murals on the street. It is truly such a beautiful form of liturgical devotional art. Some people will fast on Good Friday for 24 hours or at least refrain from meat. They'll usually just eat fish. And many salvies actually prepare a specific dried fish dish that they eat on Good Friday. The memes are intense. They really go all out in their makeup and in their costumery. This alfombra in front of the National Theater was the most intricate one. And look at the huge team of volunteers that it took to do it. I believe it. You can see here where a dog accidentally stepped across the line and messed up the salt. In fact, there was one time when the alfombra that was directly in front of the cathedral, this one right here, a dog walked underneath the kind of guardrail and everyone in the crowd gasped <laughs> and everything went silent because no one is to walk on the alfombras until the procession comes at night. There were actually some people there that were selling kites that the children were flying above the plaza. It was a wonderful time with families just spending great traditions. Lo siento, ¿de qué es? Es sal. Es sal. Es sal no más. No tiene harina, no tiene... No, no, no. Es sal de más. Es sal y densa. Oh. Es sal y tinta. Uh -huh. Eso es dos. ¿Y cuántas, ¿Y cuántas horas tomarán? Las horas no, no tenemos mucho cálculo, pero desde las 5 de día de ayer, Ajá. Uh -huh. Y ahora todo el día. Okay. So, 5 en la tarde o 5 en la mañana. Ya llevamos 24 horas. Oh, y trabajaron por toda la noche. Toda la noche. Sin dormir. Wow. Qué dedicación. Esto significa, esto significa el terremoto. Es el bebé que está allá. Oh. Un homenaje a Pelé. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y ahí vamos un homenaje a todos los héroes de de todos los que fueron a ayudar a, a este país, ¿verdad? Ajá. Un homenaje a Monseñor Romero, que se le hace un homenaje a Monseñor Romero, que se le hace la caravana, que se hizo una pequeña caravana de tantas cosas que se está viendo hoy en día. Ajá. La alfombra se llama, la alfombra, una alfombra para... Una para alfombra Jesús. para Jesús. Y ahí ¿Sí? llevamos la... la a un con pan, perfecto. Pero no hay vino dejado. Ese fue. Sí, al mejor. No, arriba deja el vino. What a beautiful way to demonstrate your faith and devotion to your God as this beautiful artistry. I think I found a gringo. If not, the tallest salve I've ever, ever seen. The Good Friday procession usually starts from one church and goes into another church. This procession started at the El Cotiverio Church, went past the cathedral, and ended at the El Rosario Church. What happens during the procession is various images of the saints, especially Virgin Mary, and the image of the crucified Christ are carried on pastels that are on the shoulders of penitents and others that as an act of kind of penance. Um, a lot of people fast for the entire Good Friday and a traditional Christian hymns and songs are sung. You'll see large conical hoods called caperote that are repenting to show that it's not about them, it's about God. In my world travel, I've found that it's best to always go to the source in order to learn of other cultures and people. And that is the Good Friday procession that happens every year in Centro San Salvador. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of this culture and sharing of El Salvador with you guys on Holy Week 2023.
I am Jenny Ari. Say a mask, leave a mask. Yeah, hey, mask.